Hello everybody. Um, Lindy is being admitted to the hospital. They think she has pneumonia. Um, she just went for a chest x-ray. She's been given Tylenol. She's 103, 103.7 fever. Um, there's no beds because everyone is sick. They think it's RSV, but they have not swabbed her yet. Um, but we're going to be here a while. Her oxygen is so bad. Uh, it was 78. <laughs> now she's on, she's on oxygen, um, to help her, but she's not doing well. But I'll keep you updated. So we're in our room. Someone's like screaming outside. Can you hear? It's crazy. People are like running. Sounds, I know there was a boy next door that looked disabled, like, but he was like a, a young man. Um, but this guy sounds like he can talk. People just keep running. Someone's having a really hard time. But yeah, we haven't heard anything back about the x-ray or swabs or anything. Um, her, so her, her vitals look, so with the oxygen, they've gone up a lot. So like, this is good, but they're on oxygen, but this is not good. Her like respiratory, it's how she's breathing, isn't very good. So we're just hanging out. I literally cannot remember what I said last, but it's not pneumonia. The doctor came in, which is good news. Um, we're still waiting to find out if it's RSV, flu, or COVID. Um, she, her fever's come down since she's taken the Tylenol, which is good. Um, she's eating a little cookie, we're watching some Paw Patrol, drinking, we're watching Paw Patrol, we're drinking some juice, and we're still waiting, but, um, she's feeling a little bit better, thank goodness, but yeah, we're just a lot of waiting. So, the doctor came in, she has RSV. There are no beds. We are in the emergency room. I don't know if we're ever gonna get a bed. I'm hoping we are here one night. I had a friend call me and suggest maybe we can get oxygen at home if her oxygen is still not good tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to push for that. But she's still not doing well. I mean, her fever is down right now, but she's still on Tylenol. But yeah, we're gonna dim the lights and try to get some sleep. I'm gonna be sharing a bed with her. If we were in a room, I'd have a couch. But, you know, or a big chair, you know, but again, like it's a, it's an epidemic right now. And I, I get it. Like, this is insane. I, I like there, it's madness out there right now. The people out there, it's, it's insane. Like there's so many sick kids. Um, yeah. So try to get some rest and I'll update you when I can, hopefully tomorrow morning or if we get moved in the middle of the night, of course I'll update you guys, but we're gonna try to rest now. <laughs> So it's 10 o'clock, Lindy fell asleep. I was sleeping, but laying in bed with her. The nurse came in and was saying that's not gonna work because she wasn't in the right position for breathing. And they have all these cords. She's got like cords on her chest and she's got the nasal things, oxygen, finger thing. And so it's just, I won't fit. <laughs> this is the hardest part about not being admitted, like into the, there's no couch or comfy chair. It's just this and it's killing me. And I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. And I'm trying not to panic about it because I don't do well without like any, I'm, I'm not a good person when I don't sleep. Like, the worst sides of me come out because I'm just so miserable. <clears throat> and I had a doctor's appointment tomorrow that was for me, that things that I wanted to get checked out and now I have to reschedule because we're not gonna send Lynn, we're not gonna send Posey to school because she had a cough this morning and everything I've researched that she could be spreading RSV and I don't want that in her preschool class so I'm gonna keep her home. So I can't even like switch out with Will and go to the doctors because there's no one to watch Posey. And it's a doctor's appointment that's not like an in and out, like it's a whole like, I was gonna do a pap smear and all the things and, and talk to her about my psoriasis and some other stuff and I'm just, I'm just disappointed. I really wanted to get some stuff. I wanted to talk it through and um, that's what it is. And I'm just complaining because I'm tired, so.
please know that it's just exhaustion here. I'm just exhausted. This will be the longest night of my life. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. and um, rough night sleep, let's just say. I think I did get a chair. I don't remember what I tell you people. <laughs> I have no brain cells anymore. They're all dead because I'm so tired. Um, Lindy slept pretty good. They came in every like hour, <laughs> I swear, um, which is, I know, that's how it's supposed to go. Uh, they lowered her oxygen down a little bit, which is good. Um, she, you know, had a coughing fit in the middle of the night. It was pretty rough, but um, she's doing good. Still no fever, so that's fantastic. Um, I don't know what the next plan is. Um, I'm hoping we'll go home today because her, her oxygen is so low. I'm hoping maybe they'll send us home with oxygen. I don't know. I'm just hoping we go home today. I'm so dead. I have not eaten a meal since lunch. Um, just had some crackers and stuff. <coughs> but yeah. She's got it. Um, I'm gonna lay back. Here. There's a pillow right here. Lay back. There you go. Um, Another thing about sleeping in the ER, it's very loud. <laughs> lots of people coming in and out, lots of crying babies, lots of patients, which again, I understand, not upset about it, but not was not quiet. Um, so, even harder to sleep. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll update you when I know more. Will is coming to do traits so I can go home and uh, rest and clean up and then do the shift. He's probably gonna do the whole shift with her if we're overnight um, He had a rough morning with the kids <laughs> When it rains it pours, but everyone's okay, and then um If we have to trade tomorrow, we'll trade tomorrow. That, that's what we're thinking right now. It could change if it something happens, but um Yeah, he's coming right now to trade and uh, Lindy's doing okay still on oxygen um we're still in the ER. That's that. All right, so I switched out with Emily. She went home to rest, and I'm here now with Lindy. Lindy was asleep. She just woke up. She's having a sandwich, and goldfish, and drinking some water. Um, they're trying to get us a room right now. Hopefully, we'll be going to a room pretty soon with Lindy how are you feeling feeling okay mm -hmm. we're resting today yeah so hopefully we should get better so we, we might end up being here a few days just um to wait to see when she is not dependent on the oxygen where her oxygen stabilizes so we're just gonna rest here and get her better okay so we just moved to a new room Lindy's watching Paw Patrol movie she's we got a nice view of the mountains in this room the other room was a little cold so this one's much warmer huh Get some sunshine. Yeah. We ordered lunch. We'll eat some lunch soon. Yeah. yeah. Having some snacks yeah. still. Yeah. Feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah. Still resting. <laughs> I just got here. I'm tagging Will out. He's heading out. Um, Lindy's asleep. I brought a bunch of stuff for her to play with and color and when she wakes up later. Um, but yeah. It's been crazy. Did you tell him about the oxygen and everything? Which part? The last part. Uh, no. All right, so they tried to take off oxygen. She dropped to the 80s. She's so only on, she's only on a, like, a, like a half of a... Half of a one, right? Yeah. It's yeah, so she's really close. Amount, I'm like, hoping tomorrow. When they take her off, she still drops, so. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. So I brought Lindy a Polly Pocket toy. We're gonna open it right now. Cheer you up a little bit. You've been trapped in this room. 
something fun to do now. Uh. Your nose bugging you? You remind me a lot of me because I loved Polly Pocket when I was a little girl. You know that? Come on, I'm trying to Ooh, you gotta hook it together. Pretty sure, yeah. So you gotta, this is neat how you have to like you thread it yourself to get it to stay. Okay, there's your little home for your pollies, and then we'll get the little people out. So and then like look at like a little bunny and a little kitty one and a turtle. You don't have this one, do you? Yeah. You do have it? No. No. I didn't think so. I got her a unicorn bear too. <gasps> your unicorn bear, you can name it and it'll take good care of you. It should be your friend. Should we name her Sparkle? Yeah, and then. Okay. <coughs> I know. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Lindy got her Christmas blanket. She got her little people. Got her teddy bear. She got cards from our respite provider who we love. And Posey, they wrote her a card. Winnie wasn't there to, to make it when they did it but Lindy loved it. We got some, I got her some special princess goldfish. Huh, and we got some, some, what are they called? Yeah, the carnival animal crackers. They're so, the circus animal crackers, I don't know what I'm saying. We got bubbles, I know. And I got coloring stuff, so she's set for a while. So hopefully this will keep her occupied for a little bit. I'm gonna eat my dinner, I went to Panera Bread, got her happy meal, things to nibble on, and um, See if we sleep tonight. I have no expectations. <laughs> but Lindy's having the time of her life right now. So glad I could bring her some joy. It's been such a rough day, Will said. Just her getting a little antsy and not knowing what to do, even though she's not feeling good at all. Like she's got a horrible cough. Um, she still doesn't like know what to do. So this will give her some entertainment, hopefully, for a little while. And um, hopefully she'll sleep good tonight. And I'll tell you this stuff tomorrow, too. I've been talking to a bunch of people about RSV and their experience and people have been messaging me. This could be a few days in here and I have to just prepare for that. I prepared till Friday. Today is Monday. That's in my mind, like the worst case scenario. Best case is tomorrow. Mm, Moana, you're right. Um, yeah, that's where I have to put my head at because I can't. I can't keep hoping that tomorrow we'll be going home. Cause today I really was hoping we'd be going home. I hoping they would give us oxygen and we'd go home. But nope, she's not ready yet. It's what it is, but yeah, I think we're gonna end the vlog here. We will be vlogging the next few days, all of this journey. Cause I think it's fascinating. And um, let's give it a thumbs up. Oh, a thumbs down? Let's say give it a thumbs up. She wants you all to give it a thumbs up. It was very cute. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, guys, you are wonderful. Bye.